When I decided to run for U.S. Senate, I had $2.18 in my bank account. I won my primary with a campaign budget of just $22,000. Marquita Bradshaw is running for the U.S. Senate in Tennessee. And I want to show you her new campaign ad, which is fantastic. So I'm also going to get to after this polling right now out of Tennessee. There's not much to go off of, um, but I'll get to that in a minute. First, let me show you her uh, beautiful new campaign ad that she has just put out. I grew up next to a toxic landfill in South Memphis. Our air, our water, and our soil poisoned us. My great-grandmother and many other people in my neighborhood died from cancer. We were expendable. So my mother, my sisters, my community, and I organized. We demanded accountability to prevent what had been done to us from happening to others. When I decided to run for U.S. Senate, I had $2.18 in my bank account. I won my primary with a campaign budget of just $22,000. They call it an upset, but I wasn't upset. I knew what needed to be done, and I did it. And we're doing it again in this election. Because the way a single mom spends a dollar is not the same way a rich man spends a dollar. It's about time that working people have a working person in the United States Senate. I've faced job loss. I've gotten sick and had medical bills piling up. I've felt the weight of crushing student loan debt. I've battled foreclosure and bankruptcy. This has been my reality, and it's the reality of too many hardworking Tennesseans. There's so much hatred. There's so much division. It's coming from a small group of people who have hijacked the political process. They do not represent Tennessee because we have so much more in common than we think. We all want to make an honest wage. We all want to breathe clean air. We all want our children educated in good schools. We all want our families to have health care. This election cannot be bought. It's time for people to stop just surviving and start thriving. With just a few little rocks, we can take down giants because we have justice and righteousness on our side. My name is Marquita Bradshaw and I'm running to make sure you have a voice in the United States Senate. We're gonna surprise some people. I love this ad. One of the most appealing things about uh, Marquita Bradshaw is what's really appealing about a lot of progressive politicians. She's a normal person. She's gone through real struggles, which is why she supports the things that she supports. So, and I'll get to a bit of that in a, in a minute here, but she's also a environmental activist. I mean, so we're talking about Tennessee here. This, I'm fairly certain, um, is one of, if not the most progressive uh, Democrat running for Congress this year. Let me show you. Uh, she was on here discussing uh, with Ed Markey when he held a live stream, discussing uh, why she's running and uh, her background as uh, as working in environmental justice. The reason why I'm running on environmental justice because I come from an environmental justice community. I was running to become the mm -hmm. first person from an environmental justice community to actually run for U.S. Senate. I also found out along the way that I was the first African-American woman to become a nominee for any major party in the state of Tennessee and the South. We are out of balance with our relationship with the earth and we can do better. That is the definition of environmental justice. For people to have healthy and safe communities, no matter who they are, What's their zip code where they live, learn, work, worship, and recreate? Because you cannot talk about environmental policy without talking about economic policy, or without talking about education, without talking about infrastructure. All of these things are all connected. The reason why I'm running. Awesome. Let me uh, give you a little taste of her platform here. Of course, uh, Medicare for All. I mean, you can go to her website and check out her the issues page unabashedly supports medicare for all very clear uh check out environment of course supports the green new deal 
I mean, we're talking about a fantastic candidate here. Now, of course, the issue is Tennessee. Uh, <laughs> it's going to be incredibly hard um, for her to win this. Uh, before I get to the polling, though, I also just want to show you one of her endorsements. Matriarch here, uh, a backer of hers. This is a group that I believe is organized, if not run by uh, Nomiki Konst, um, who's uh, heavily involved in, in Matriarch here. But uh, one of the endorsements. Let me show you polling. So this is, as far as I've seen, this is it. Um, oh, there's some other ones here. I've, okay, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, oh, never mind. Um, no, this is the only poll I think that, that exists. 36% uh, to 56. So look, everyone knows um, this is unlikely. It's very unlikely that she'll be able to flip this. But crazier things have happened. <laughs> crazier things have happened. Uh, I was just confused because, uh, yeah, these are older polls, obviously. 2018 and Bradshaw's not in them. I thought I saw Bradshaw there, but no. So, yeah, uh, it's going to be unlikely. It's unlikely she'll take this seat. But you know what? You never know. And if you're in Tennessee, good God. Make sure you're out there, if you haven't already, and vote.